Hi friends, hi, welcome back to my video. Uh, this is Vintage Diva Amy coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Um, right now, today I'm going to share with you the uh, Yadro uh, auction haul that I picked up on last uh, week. Um, and so I have some pieces here from my own collection. There are three or four pieces, but the rest of it is what I picked up at the auction hall. It was the largest haul of Yadros I had found. There are some other figurines mixed with them. There's Royal Copenhagen and uh, Dalton, I believe, and Joseph Originals as well. There were two lots actually, and I was bidding, I bid on both lots and I won it. I actually bid up so much. I went up to the max on the uh, Yadro figurines. So I wanted to share it with you and uh, all these should be listed on my website at vintagedivaamy.com or you can find it on my uh, other portals uh, like Poshmark and Mercari. Uh, please find the links in the description below. Uh, again, I welcome to the channel. Please do comment and share these videos. Um, I would like to bring you some uh, more videos with more thriftings and thrifting trips, vlogs, and as well as hauls, and also take you around to auctions here in my area. Uh, so let's uh, start with these figurines. I'm really excited. Um, everybody knows Yadro figurines, how elegant, how beautiful, how detailed they are. I mean, these are porcelain figurines, um, but I fell in love with the Yadro figurines when I was in Spain. I had an opportunity to go to a, a, a in Valencia and uh, look at their first hand uh, you know the, I've met an artist who used to work at who worked at uh, the factory so this is this is really good I'll show you the piece that I got there um, but since then I have been trying to find a haul I've been looking actually to haul Nadal but hardly they ever come in auction so uh, that's my dream haul that I sh I would want to see in the Dal Hall. Um, so anyways, let's uh, see some figurines. And again, if you're interested, please visit the website. Check out the description below. Okay, let's start with this piece. This is the Yadro Society. It's the... You know, these are all made in Spain. The Spain. And Yadro started in 1950s, but... Um, and they introduced another line called NAO, N-A-O, uh, that was in 1970 or, or 1968, I believe, to be exact. So that line is more simpler, more uh, cheaper. Uh, Yadro is Yadro. I mean, it's exquisite. So this is a Yadro Society plaque. It's beautiful with a dove on it. This is from my collection. Let me put it safely. So oh, these figurines. This is another Yadro. This I got in the hall. This is a dove. It's so beautiful. I have two of them. So I love the dove figurines with the feathers and the beak look like some stuff is on it. But I don't know. I just need to clean it. There's mush woods on it. But it's so beautifully done. And that's the mark, the Yadro. I don't know what year this is. They don't have a year on this. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But beautiful, beautiful figurines. The other one is this that came in the hall. I'm, I'm debating if I need to keep this. It's the beautiful dove again with feathers like full spread. Of, it's beautifully done. It's such a nice and quite heavy size. That's the mark. Again, no year on it. Made in Spain, Yadro. So these two were in the same lot. I have other birds too. Let's do those. I have these two. This were, these were in the lot too. This is... Yeah, Yadro, 1978. So this has the date on it. And it's a different mark. It's a brown mark. Not the blue one stamp. Look at the beauty of this. Okay. Now this is with the f with the wings spread. So I have a set of doves and set of uh, swan or ducks or I don't know. These are ducks or swans, cranes. 
this was the, this one has the blue mark so it's not the same series now most of these are retired the the ones that i have are all retired figurines i checked them they're not making anymore that means they don't have the molds anymore so that's why they are so collectible these have been retired they don't, they don't make these figurines anymore so beautiful lovely lovely all right so we're done with the birds i have other critters here i found this fox the adro fox that was in the lot too these are all the critters this is a mama and baby fox they're so cute so beautifully done i was actually bidding on the birds in the lot but these this was in the lot too and then i have a I don't know if this is a horse, donkey, I, I, I can't tell. That's a Yadro again, there's no year on it. But it's so beautifully done. I don't know, just a sitting. I don't know what animal this is, but it's one of those four-legged beauties. Very beautiful. The other critter in the lot, but this is not Yadro. This is the Royal Copenhagen. Beautiful. It's it's exquisite. Royal Copenhagen is also my favorite. Look at the seal. It's so beautiful. I have one in glass that has the ball on the tip of the nose and it's so cute. And that's the mark with the Royal Copenhagen Denmark. They make excellent porcelain too. Uh, I think we are done with the critters. I have now figurines. Let's see, oh, this is also Royal Dalton, Across the Miles, Mademoiselle, that sitting figurine, nicely done again. It's a Royal Dalton, so that's his England. Yeah, beautiful though. I mean, these all came as figurines, so they had a collector of figurines. All right, now coming back to Yadro, this is a Yadro piece. Look at the beautiful draped kneeling madonna kind of figurine these are beautiful exquisite such lovely and i've seen how they actually they showed a history of how the yard rows were made like liquid how they poured liquid porcelain into the over these clay models and that's like seven inches tall beautifully beautifully done I may keep this. This is so beautiful. The gentle face and the expressions and the quality is exquisite. All right. This is a very classic piece of Yadro. Very beautifully done again. There's the stamp. This is a girl on the telephone. You have a dog puppy here. Really beautiful. Again, these all these figurines should be listed and on sale. Check out vintagedivayami.com or any of the portals in the description. If you can't find anything on my website, please check out uh, the Poshmark and Mercari. They usually have been uh, pretty uh, updated. Okay, this one is another Yadro classic piece, La Girl with the Lilies. All the lilies are in perfect condition. Look at that. That's a stamp Yadro. This is 1977. Made in Spain, 1977. So there's a date on it. It's beautiful. And these are retired. These figurines are not made anymore. It's a beautiful figurine. I love this. I'm, a, I'm not sure if I want to keep... I want to keep all of them, but that's not possible. It's beautiful. I was so lucky to have come across this... Uh, to bid on this auction. Uh, these are this is the married couple figurine there's no date on this one but that's the yadro stamp the couple bride and the groom nicely done i'm not that a big a fan this is for sale for sure somebody wants to collect these the bride and the groom and the tongues the couple All right, there's one more. This I, I really completely, okay, this is now. Now, you, I didn't expect this to be now. It looks, I mean, it feels and looks like Yadro and the subject matter with the dog. And this, that's more elaborate than a, uh, now is. But 
that it is now by Yadro, and this is 1985. 1985. I'm not sure about this, if this has been retired or not. But the flowers are in perfect condition. I don't see any chipping on the flowers. The girl. Oh, it's so nice. Well, I really, I really thought this was Yadro. I was looking at this and during the lot. But it's now. They don't usually show the stamps, you know, at the auctions. Not all of them are shown. It's beautiful. Nevertheless, now I find you. All right, this tall one, he's, he's not my, oh, he's Ada Japan. So he's not a Yadro or a now. He's like a Japanese vintage porcelain piece. But well, it's nicely done. It's a doctor. Uh, he's with a stethoscope and an old man, a physician. Nice porcelain piece. I mean, they added to the figurines, I think. Now, this one right in here in the front, it's also not marked. It may be Japanese or German. I mean, it's it's really good quality. I mean, it doesn't look like a Yadro to me, but but it, it's that's good quality, though. I, I've shared a lot of figurines from the this hall with you before with Paul Sebastian's figurines and other figurines. But, I mean, these are beautifully done. It could be German or ja Japan, very vintage, but it's really beautifully done, too. Very sweet. All right. Let's see. This is a Yadro clown. Very, very. This is 19. Uh, let's see. It has all so many stamps on it. 1990, I believe. The stamp has 1990 written on it. And look at it. <laughs> it's not a scary clown. It's fun. He's very cute. And no damages. That's Yadro. I was surprised. The whole lot. Oh, usually there is some damages in these lots because you can't really pick and choose. But I only found one piece that has damage. I'll show it to you. Now this was a now. Now figurines are very simple. Those are angel. Two angels reading a Bible. Oh, it's nice. Beautifully done. Look, it's in children's room or... In a prayer room, these this sculpture would be so perfect. Nice, nicely done. I like it. Now this one is a Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. Again, nice, nice, very nice, very pretty. Royal Copenhagen has great collectability too. Let's see how much she measures. She's almost six and a half. Okay, good size figurine. All right, let's go. This is again Yadro, yes. And there is a date, but 82 something. I mean, this is an angel again, but I think she's rolling her bread. And those are the wings and the dress. The Oh, very beautiful. Look at the expressions. Very nice. And that's the Yadro mark on it. I'm not sure about that too, if it's retired or not. I found two Asian figurines in the lot. And Japanese with kimono. Oh, these are beautiful. I love them. These are Yadro 1978 or 76. 78, I believe. So that's a kimono uh, or geisha. Or, and this is 1976 too. These are the same year. Look at that. They're beautifully done. I love that. I love that they chose that subject matter. Uh, there is a tall figurine, but she's not marked. Again, this could be German or Japanese. Very nice. The flowers are in, intact. It's beautiful. I love her face. I love how sleek the dress, how they made. And she's almost like 10 inches tall. She's tall. 10 inches tall. All right. Let's put this back. 
I have three more. Now, this is also not marked. There was a sticker here, but this is not Yadra, but this could be like again West German or Japanese. There is some flea bite on her head gear little bit but that doesn't distract from the whole beauty she's beautifully done look at the draping on the back with all the white and then the light the blue with the bird and the flowers oh it's so beautiful these are beautiful figurines i'm so glad they had put these now this is the piece that has the damage so these are the dancing couple this is the yadro 1976 there's the stamp and let me show you the first the size how tall this one is it's quite tall so it's almost 13 inches it's 13 inches tall now the damage is the groom's foot is broken one of the foot is broken i mean somebody can fix it we can't see it if you put it on this side i mean if they're dancing you can see the foot is nice on this side but this side is sliced off he got amputated but otherwise the figurine it's beautiful I, i'll reduce the price just because of the damage but i didn't i mean i didn't see all the pictures but anyways i couldn't have it pick and choose from the lot so i had to pick up the whole lot this is the last yadro piece i got this is from 1987 yadro a, a lady with a teacup this is also very famous retired figurine She's so, and the beautiful, the cap, all the flowers are intact. It's, it's amazing. And the tea there and the bow and look at the back. The, she's standing against an ornate. The, uh, oh my gosh. It's beautiful figurine. I love this. And this, she is, she must be like taller than the groom. I mean, the couple and the, She's 15 inches, so she's 15 inches tall. This is quite a tall figurine. You'll need a nice big box. But beautiful, beautiful. All these figurines are beautiful, but especially the taller ones. I really love those details. Now, there was a set of these three of Joseph original figurines. These are birthday girls, birthday angels. The number 16 with the new with tags. That's the Joseph Originals embossed in there. This is the number 17 Joseph Original Angel. And this is a musical box and the music plays actually. I don't know what song it plays but and this is a Joseph Original too. There's a sticker on that. Joseph Original Japan. I don't know what song it plays but it still plays. Alright so those are the three Joseph Originals. Now these are the figurine, the lot of figurines. The most of them are Yadros and Royal Copenhagen, and uh, uh, some Royal Dalton, and some unmarked, possibly German or Japanese vintage. So, if you like any of these, please um, um, check out the in the description the link to my website vintagedivayami.com or other portals. And uh, also, if you, if you don't find anything or if you have any question. A, pr a private comment that you don't want to share on the uh, uh, publicly, then you can please email me vintage me at gmail.com. Vintage me at gmail.com. All the details are in the description. Uh, again, reminding that uh, me and my mom are involved with a charity to support a domestic violence shelters and their legal aid in the greater Dallas area. So if you would really like to contribute as well as get some eclectic uh, vintage items from our from my halls, uh, please uh, uh, purchase the mystery boxes. Those are also on my website as well as the details are in the description. Um, so... Uh, please do comment on this video share these videos uh, any appreciation would be greatly appreciated and i would look forward to making more videos um, i have another the box i, I was i've told in earlier videos about the american brilliant crystal so i had a one more box with that as well as they shipped me a, a few pieces too so i'm going to collect all those and then i'll share that haul with you in the next video all right everybody take care and i'll see you in the next one bye bye